And what would that be? Hmm. Well, there's a few I typically go with all the time. Um, the lady is one of them. I think it's great having the personality buff is, you know, so-so. Uh, I mean, for the most part, people already like me, but um, having that extra 25 points does sort of help, um, you know, with selling things. You might get a little extra money out of it. Uh, but the endurance is what is the good one because, like I said, starting off with a strong endurance is great in the long run for your character for the health points. Um, another one that's good uh, is the mage um, because you get a base point modifier for your intelligence which um, which is great if you're planning on doing a lot of magic because you'll need the magicka and another good one is the steed um, having high speed basically you just get to walk faster run faster um, it's it's pretty handy for getting from point A to point B. Uh, Morrowind does not have instant fast travel like Oblivion. Um, it's awesome. I, I actually really love this game for that. Uh, you you come across so many things. Um, so many dungeons, so many hidden areas, so many people that you meet along the way that if you were to fast travel you would not ever ever experience. So having the lack of you know a fast travel is amazing but having the extra speed obviously would help you along the way um, so I'm gonna go with this one here the lady okay interesting so once again just looking over making sure everything's good um, Yes, I'm I'm very happy with this. This is great. Okay, stats menu. And now I have to take these to the captain. So, I'm going to take my goodies. And um so if you're playing this for the first time, I just want to point out something here. This platter is worth quite a lot of money. Now, I don't think I'm leveled enough to steal it. No, they're watching me, and I've got a guard watching me, so I can't steal it. But if you can, it's a really good way to start off because you can sell it and uh, make some extra monies, and it's great. So now that I'm going through the door, I'm going to close the door, and now I've got some privacy to do what I do best, and that is steal everything. So that's what I'm going to do. Take, 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 take. And it's just sort of telling you what all these things do, so it's just, you know, saying, okay, this is, you know, a potion, and, you know, this is a light, and all that stuff, but, like I said, I'm just going to take it all. And, um, I have the sound for the game turned down, but, um, unfortunately, it's not perfect, and, uh, sometimes you'll hear footsteps that are really really loud um, like at full volume and there's nothing I can really do about that even though I have the footsteps turned down I have the effects turned down let me just make sure that's true yes I do so I do have all the effects and everything turned down so that everyone can hear me talking but um, it's just for some reason it does play certain sounds at the full volume it's not you know it's not perfect Alright, so that was a book there. You can read it flip through the pages. Um, some books do actually give you a little extra. Alright, so we have a locked chest here. So I'm going to take my lockpick. Take my lockpick. Equip it. Okay, and now we are going to pick a lock in Morrowind. And look at that. First shot, we've got a success. Great. That is absolutely fantastic. Okay, so let's put that away. Come down here. Close the door. Steal some more goodies. You know, buckets. You never know when you might need a bucket. Um, I am an absolute thief. I take everything I can find, especially in the beginning, because every little bit helps. Um, you know, the dollars add up into thousands of dollars. I guess they're not dollars, they're septums. But, uh, Basically, in the beginning, everything you can get is better because then you can sell it, get some money, buy spells, buy everything. Okay, so we are in Sadenine. We're coming out. And Barrel. We have the Ring of Healing. This is 
special item. It's a magic item. Okay, talk to the captain. And there's the captain. Hello, captain. Papers, please. Hmm. So this is the dialog box. Um, you can do your s sort of speech craft here um, to raise sort of their uh, how much they like you, your reputation with them, I guess. Um, and this is your dialog options. So um, you know, talking about his background, find out who he is, talking about Morrowind, and this has actually opened up two other dialog options. So now that I've mentioned duties, um, he's actually given me a quest here that's been added in my journal. He's also added some things to my inventory and some money, which is great. So usually when I talk to someone that uh, is giving me a quest, I typically do go through the uh, the entire dialogue because sometimes they'll give you things or sometimes they'll talk to you about something or give you directions and that'll be added to your journal. Um, when I first played this game I did a lot of reading. I really enjoyed the fact that there wasn't a lot of voice acting because um, let's face it in Oblivion it's really annoying hearing the same voices over and over and over again and uh, it's just a little strange how you'll be in one city like um, Anvil and then you'll travel to like Coral and uh, you know it's like that's the same voice. Strange. So I actually really like being able to read everything. And there's not really much to swipe although this plate's looking mighty tasty for stealing but I'm gonna have to let it go. And we are outside going into Sedanine. Press J to use your journal and review what you've been told. You should probably check out Aril's trade house up on the left. You're on your own now. Good luck. Wow. That's amazing. So this is Sedanine, little fishing village, I guess. Uh, little docking area where the ships from Imperial City come in. Okay. This is great. So I've sort of heavily modded the graphics. Um, this grass is not in the vanilla version. This water is, well, it's there, but it certainly doesn't look this good in the vanilla version. Um, just graphics upgrades. Nothing, nothing extra to make me, you know, superhuman. Okay, and this here is Sedanine. So I'm definitely going to be playing Morrowind a lot. Um, I'm very anxious to see how my character progresses and see what future she's going to have. Thank you for joining me for my first episode of the Let's Play Morrowind and take care.